Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Night of the Dead. <laughs> so we've talked about it a lot. And yes, there you are. There's a flamethrower. We got one. But I'm not so happy. <laughs> See, come on, Tomato, why aren't you happy? You've got a flamethrower at last. <sighs> the reason I'm not happy is I thought that would be a fixed directional. It's not. It rotates. As I found out just now when a zombie headed up you, it turned around and blasted them. And it's like, well, I don't want you to turn around and blast them. I want you to only fire when something is in front of you. That's the only time I want you to fire is when something is like gets to here. Otherwise, it's going to be wasting fuel, burning trivial zombies that are going to die on the spikes. It's like, ah, that's a lot of fuel down the drain, really, because it's just going to, it's just going to burn. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, it, that's a lot of bashing and breaking to try and get all that apart again. I can, like, take the fuel out and just put the fuel in tonight, which, which I mean, now that I'm talking about it, let's do exactly that. As long as I can actually get to it without getting spiked. I can take the fuel out for now. And then as we get to the horde night part, I can put the fuel back in. So it doesn't just kill random, like, stuff that's in the area. Uh, what can I do with it long term? That's, that's not what I want. <laughs> it's it's good, but it's not what I want. I mean, I don't know if I put a wall behind it, you know, like a palisade wall, whether or not that'll stop it from spinning. If I, like, box it in some way, or even just, you know, regular house walls and, and box it in. I mean, maybe that's the answer. Just put a wall or two on, on that block. Do you know what? I can try that. I haven't got anything to lose if I just a few walls... And if it's wrong and it still rotates and, and attacks, I'll make wooden walls and it'll just burn them down, which is fine. As long as, well, if they damage the trap, I'll just pick up the components later, right so I don't really care. If that's not any good, I'm going to have to relocate it maybe, maybe here and face inwards. So, because there's not many zombies that get this close. But the thing is, those that do get this close are usually running quite fast through this. So I'm not sure that the flamethrower going across ways is really gonna. It's gonna do anything really. Oh dilemma! I didn't expect it the turret move, or at least I wanted an option like the fixed turret. Don't rotate. I'll put walls around it and see what happens. Hopefully that'll fix it. If not, okay, well, it's just going to have to come down, isn't it? Just going to have to break it down. I mean, I like the fact there's loot and stuff in here. I kind of get it. There's no way in there and out again. Alive. If I go in there... Well... I can get out, but it means I have to get my axe out and start swinging and destroying them all and build the stairs. <laughs> and not for a bag. No way. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to do, I'll do it now while we're talking, is get rid of this door. It was great at the time that I built it. That time has passed. My concern right now is when I destroy this door, is the ceiling above going to come down? You know what? I think it probably will, won't it? In fact, I know it will. 
that's all going to come down if I do this. Let's think about this moment before I. Yeah, because that will collapse, which then in turn this will collapse. <laughs> Alright, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done, isn't it? I mean, it, the door is actually now a hindrance because when some of these zombies come through, this door shuts behind them. And I've already closed the door up by me. And even if the zombie dies inside the base against those spikes, me opening the door up top doesn't make all the rest of the zombies repath again. They still just wail on the base because this door is shut. So it's got to go. And if all that collapses, it collapses. And I have to rebuild it. How much damage is this taking? Oh my god, this is going to take a while. Okay, I'm going to uh, end this piece now. And I'll see you all a bit later. Because without a claw hammer, which I don't have, uh, this is going to take a while. <laughs> okay, see you all shortly. Hello and welcome back. So, this is going to be one of those episodes where I say... I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Let me show you a few things. First of all, I mean, yes, I put my flamer in a box, even if it does look like I was drunk when I placed those walls because they are all over the place. That's fine. Two. Well, first of all, uh, the second one is I, I couldn't actually then reach the flamer because I put walls in a way to refuel it. So I actually had to climb down and go through my gauntlets of spikes to refill it. So yeah, that was um, dangerous. Uh, my biggest problem is though. Let me let me get into position. <laughs> oh dear! The flamer when it goes off can hit me up here. <laughs> there was a zombie that one lone zombie that came across this hillside, and he he only got to there. And the flame of over there has flamed everything over here, including me. It was like, oh, shh, go. I didn't, I don't even think I took damage. I think I might have luckily been out of his line of fire because it was aiming at a zombie down there that instantly burned to death. I'm thinking, oh my God, if, if that flamer can shoot that far. <laughs> It only literally, it's only just happened, so I can't really think about it now, I mean... Oh dear. This... I could get killed by my own flamer. So, okay, what else have I done? Well, I put... Well, first of all, I didn't break the door. Um, news for you, if you want to break the doors, the stone... Uh, the wood cutting axe is definitely the best tool. It was doing far more damage to this door than if I was using the pickaxe. However, I then repaired it. <laughs> and I was there thinking, look, it's not worth all this coming down. And then what do I have for this opening? It's just an opening. And I'd have to probably put some supports in to make the ceiling. And you know what? It can stay. It does cause a few issues and some of the monsters run around being a bit crazy if it stays locked and I would have said I'm going to go down there and just open it but not with a flamethrower going off I'm not because if I open that door and that flame is going off I'm probably cooked so no <laughs> the other thing I did is not only did I not put a um, a fence back in that slot I put a wall and the reason for that is on last episode you noticed that somehow I think on the back swing or something a zombie ended up in here with me uh, and she might have actually have come through that place so I put a wall there too but whoever it was she ended up in here with me and I had to deal with her 
rather than deal with the fight. And then, you know, we're nipping down stairs and stupid stuff rather than focusing on what I needed to focus on. So I put a wall there. Now, thankfully, now that I've seen what the flame is going to do, I can also stand by here, hopefully, and avoid the flames. But wow, <laughs> that flamer has got a hell of a range. I upgraded this lot to stone. I mean, uh, there's a few bits of wood in here now. Uh, this is all stone above me. I mean, that piece is wood, those two rings of wood. This, this isn't floor. This is the trap. So that doesn't burn. These are floors and they're all stone. I'm fed up on wasting precious branches, tree branches, putting out fires. So, yeah, I've upgraded a lot of it to stone. I've upgraded this one to stone, and this one to stone. There are a few pieces of wood left, but not much now. Okay, things are going to start any moment. And, um, as I said, I, I, I have a bad feeling about this. And the reason I have a bad feeling... Oh, even if I stand here, see that flamer might get me. The reason I have a bad feeling is because of the flamer. What I was hoping was going to be a great new toy is actually becoming a real problem. If I survive this wave, I need to reposition it. It's that's it's not it's not good. It's not good. Okay, um another quick tip uh, or anything. I tried to put fencing here so it didn't fall off, but for some reason it wouldn't let me. It just wouldn't let me. I can build a wall, but not a fence. I don't know why. I even tried building a, uh, a palisade from down below up to here, but it, it wouldn't let me, so. Sometimes, for some reason, it just doesn't let you put fencing on the edges of foundations. I don't, strange, but, but strange, but true. Oh, so I just have to be careful not to fall off the edge. That would be a very sad way to end this series, wouldn't it? <laughs> Tormentor gets to like, is it wave 15 now this will be? Or 40? I don't even know what we're on now. I've kind of lost count. 14, I think it is now. Yeah. And yeah, it dies because he fell off a cliff. As the music started, but where are the zombies? Usually they're Straight off the bat, don't they? Straight in. Oh, here comes one. Oh, you ran straight past all of those spikes. I wonder if that's going to be an issue. I put one spike on the end there. You can see that down there. And maybe that's all that they're pathing to be slightly wider. I mean, I might be reading too much into it. That's one zombie. But that, that was not good. I need him to walk in. See that the padding wider. Oh, that one spike. That I thought would be the good move. Could be really bad. That one there. It's, it's, yeah, it's making them repath outwards. Yeah, they're all just ignoring the spikes. This is not good, folks. Those spikes are going to do nothing for me. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, they're ignoring all the spikes now. If I survive this wave... <laughs> there you go for my bad feeling about this, but if I survive this wave, that end spike down there, it's got to come off. It's it's completely altered the way that they're they're moving through. Yeah, they're completely avoiding the spikes now. Oh, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I'm gonna stand slightly back a bit so I can watch. But I can't go too close to that edge because that encourages them to jump up at me. Stupid one over there trying to destroy stuff. The flame is gonna have a go. Do now, I better take cover. Yeah, look at that. The flame took out the palisade. I don't mind that, it's fine. The, look, 
Look at the distance on this flame. That's just crazy. I mean, yeah, I... The flames look like they're hitting me through the wall, but I, I don't think they are. Thankfully. But, wow, those flames go much further than I thought. I mean, that's just... That really is. Wow. I I need to rethink that whole flamer thing. Because I don't even know now. My position in this fight, my position in this fight used to be against those villains shooting with a with a bow. I I don't think that's a wise decision there with the flamer. Look at it. The flames are licking my feet. And it and it's not as directional as I wanted it. I wanted it to just be a straight line. And look at it. It's, it's it's oh, this is not good. It's burning its own wall. I thought it might. Hmm. Not good, folks. It's not good because the padding down there is screwed, which means the the trash mobs are not dying down there. They're coming up here. Because the trash mobs, I'm hoping I can stand up here actually in the flame and not get me. Because the trash mobs are not dying down there. And the old one look, God, that's, that's terrible. Then some of the trash mobs again up here. And wasting my flamer ammo on the wrong targets. Hopefully me standing up here is not going to screw up their pathing any more than it's already screwed up. I just need to stay out of that flamer range. That flamer is... is... crazy. Ooh. The fact that it hasn't tried shooting down the central path yet. <laughs> Means I have no idea where those flames are going to go. It literally could get to me. And they might pass through this um, wooden area in front of me. Because that's not, it's not a wall or a floor. Oh, I need I need to be down here ready to close the door though, don't I? Oh, this is this is. Ah. I can't even. See. These are trash mobs. <laughs> my base is getting trashed by my flamer because of trash mob. Well, no, it's not because just of the flamer. It's also because of my padding change. I have messed it up. My flame is probably going to be out of fuel by the time the main wave gets here. I can't even go down there and look for the main wave, can I? I need to go over here and check for that main wave. I can look at the clock and I know it's not the main wave. As I said, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Take a pot shot at the zombie. The fact that nothing is hitting over there now because of one spike change <laughs> narrow margins people isn't it narrow margins one little change and everything changes i'm wondering if the fire will actually destroy the flamer and take itself out i would love to go there and refill some of this stuff but i i i mean dare i Dare I even attempt to reload? <laughs> okay, the wall on the flame is gone. Just don't want to get flamed by my flamer. <sighs> Look at the length of the fire! Oh, this is a this is a complete mess. 
A flamer could be the end of me, I think. Right now, because... I, I'm becoming dysfunctional this episode, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, well, it's lost its back wall, it might start flaming there behind itself and stuff. And To be honest, right now, I'd actually be happier if the flamer just ran out of fuel. I could at least, like, do my thing. <laughs> it's just... It is flaming all directions. What a waste of fuel. Look at it. It's carnage, this stupid thing. Ah. My palace seed is just... No! What's the time? Oh, it's, it might be the big wave in a minute. Hopefully there's some fuel left for the big wave. I'm just going to have to get ready just to close the door and just let it happen, isn't it? Oh, you can see them dropping in there. They were dropping in. They were spawning like in the air by then, dropping in. I hit him. And again, good shot. Okay. Right, that's the other... The other piece of flame are all gone. I can't even like risk reloading my traps. It's just that flame is made things too dangerous. <laughs> Palisades coming down. I mean, these trash mobs would normally just be dead against the spikes. Ah, oh, that flamer. That flamer. Not good. Not good. Look at the length on the fire jets. Any moment, it's already two o'clock, two in the morning, so... Yeah, they all come spawning in now. I can see them all dropping out of the sky. Okay, that's my signal. To... <sighs> I'll switch to weapon. Just in case, and I can always then switch to bow if needed. I, I need to look. That's the thing, I need to look. If that flame jet turns this direction, I need to not look. Look at it, that flame jet's just going for it, constant. I can see one of those. Come on, I'll try a bow. Here comes one, I think. He's going to... Make it or not? No, he didn't make it. Oh, what carnage! <laughs> I mean, the good news is, is the flamer still has fuel at this point. If it had run out of fuel, that would have been a real mare.
try not to get burned. I mean, okay, that flamer is a beast. I will admit, those people that said, like, that flamer is a beast. <laughs> I will agree with you. It is an absolute beast. However, it's an uncontrollable beast. Is it running out of fuel at last? I think it's running out of fuel. I think it's finally running out of fuel. Oh, okay. Um, I'm alive. There's a few stragglers coming. The flame has stopped flaming. <laughs> I'm alive, but... Oh, that flamer is 100% in the wrong place. And... Hmm... I'm not even sure where the right place would be. Because the length of that jet... If I put it further back so it doesn't risk hitting me... Then... I'm going to hear some idiots somewhere out here trying to climb, I think. Let me just stop the stupid noises. It's that hitbox again on this hill, isn't it? It's just too large. What are you two doing? Ah, oh, they destroyed the spikes, so they just don't know what to do. Yeah, I can't. The sounds of my palisade breaking behind me. Yeah, the hitbox on the hill. It's just, you can see all the arrows, like, in midair, can you? They're oh, just floating in midair. The hitbox is not allowing me to shoot past the hill. I'll shoot that guy. Uh, I mean, oh, try, it slipped. <laughs> no, I mean, it's... <laughs> there they go again. Some of these arrows I can get back. But... I don't know about these ones in the air. And... If I go down there to get them... Uh, there's, there's a weird hitbox on that. If I go down there to get them... And... I hit whatever it is that glitches that sends those zombies way in the air. And that's me. I could take full damage there, couldn't I? I kind of got rid of one of them. Because all, all those arrows are just floating in the air, but they're... Ah, oh, come on. I'll kill this person, then we can end the episode and, and have a quick look at the damage. Right, okay. Thankfully. So yes, I'm not quite sure where the right place is for this flamer. <laughs> it's just... Ah... Uh, it's... Yeah, it's... That's the only thing I can say, is it's... There's no more to that sentence right now. It's just it's... It's powerful. It's a beast. All those things you said were 100% correct. But... Wow. I mean... <laughs> if I put it further back, it's going to end up getting triggered. Oh, I'm going to have to repair the stairs so I can pick this stuff up. How crazy is that? Um, yeah, it's going to have to... All right, let's get this. I don't even know what I'm saying now. If I put it further back, so that it doesn't reach me, it'll end up hitting a lot more of the trash mobs, or mobs that came earlier, because it'll be back here. Now, we could do that thing I was saying before, whereby I was going to stop all the pathing this way and only have pathing coming from that direction. But that 
that's no good either now because this flamer, even if I wall it in stone so we can only see one way, will hit lots of trash mobs that would normally die on the first few traps. I mean, what I need is a way to bring the big guns online for the final wave. And me saying that just gave me the instant idea, maybe the answer. Bring them online for the final wave. To do that, I would have to put the flamer basically in my base, pointing out. Yeah, it would have to be almost... Let's have a quick look where it would be. Maybe on a... So this is going to be high up. And maybe... It has to be somewhere where I can reach it. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, it literally needs to be where the door is. <laughs> um, if I put a foundation out here and put a door there so that I could open that door in the middle of the battle when everything's going on and I got, you know, all the trash mobs getting killed and I look down and I see the big wave arriving down here. Go, oh, big wave's on this way. I can open the door here, put fuel in the flamer, and close the door. Yeah? Yeah, see where I'm coming from? That would work. Because it doesn't matter what direction they, they managed to get onto this last run by, the flame is going to hit them. Okay, I need to, yet again, watch this episode back myself before I make any rash decisions. I need to decide whether or not that's the right move and maybe come up with an even better cunning plan. A new cutting plan. But what we've worked out this episode is pointing it towards your base at this distance. <laughs> it's not a good move. Not a good move, people. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm going to end this episode now. I'm going to go around and just, you know, pick up the... Ooh. The rewards, if you want to call it that, but unless there's copper in there, it's not really rewards. I'm just cleaning up. A bit of stone would be nice. I'll tell you what would be nice? Branches. <laughs> Give me some branches. I would be a happy bunny. Okay. Um, I hope you're enjoying these episodes. And yet again, thanks to all of you wonderful subscribers and viewers. Uh, you, you make my day. And I've taken my whole bank holiday here just filming more episodes for you. <laughs> so brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I hope you enjoy them. I'll, I don't know how many episodes I can make tomorrow. It's, it's not a bank holiday or anything here in the UK. I might get another one out of each, of each type maybe. Maybe one of the, if you want it, the, the, the World Explorer series. And one of this, I don't know. We'll, 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 I'll do my best, okay? Right, that's it. I'm off. I'm out of here. Thank you very much. See you all soon. And have a good week. Bye.